a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Madam President! Please? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Please! Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Please! Madam President! Madam President! Madam President! Public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the Deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The Deviants have proved to be very violent so far. They have demonstrated that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Madam President! Madam President, what's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the Android question. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313 248 317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders.
Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got no orders to check all civilians. No, 
No! Please! Fucking androids. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. say so. ID, please. We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome.
We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp.
shit. Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. I think Here's Oliver it. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Jerry, check. Please don't move. Them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... <sighs> Never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, I Alice. don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me!
Right, that should do it. We all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate, isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. You wanna play it like that? Okay.
humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions. I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah! Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Wake up. 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 Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please.
Jerry? You risked your life I to did. save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are gonna meet them on the other side. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. She was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day.
ID? Is she all right? to be scared anymore, little girl. There are no androids on this side of the border. Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. 
Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds, where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Thank you.